We are about to build into the last remaining space in the whole bus. And maybe one of the most important spaces in the whole bus. It's where we're gonna sit to eat. Cut of the day. Super duper nice. So there is the slightly angled back when we put the floor of the the seat in, I guess, then it's gonna be about here, the top of it'll be here, then three quarter inches of wood for the thing, and then the one by two will be down here, supporting that piece of wood, supporting it going forward, supporting it over here, and then with a hole to lift it up and take it out. Everybody understand? We following along? Throne of Swords, Throne of Craig Pocket Holes. Doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? That's all right. Throne of the Bus King. The King of the Bus! <laughs> you are the King in the Bus. <laughs> like Michael King in, the, in bus. the Bus. That's quite literal. The King in the Bus! If you don't have these clamps, you're just gonna suffer. It just won't be a friendly experience. You're wondering why your stuff's moving all over the place. The king in the bus! Chubby little chair. He's a cute little guy. He looks ginormous sitting out here. He does look like a throne. He said it's the bus of thrones. The bus of two thrones. Making the landings for the where the seat's gonna go. Right. 
very cute. Power seat. I get to be the first one to sit yes. on the throne of the bus. Well, if it breaks, I want you to fall through, not ah. me. And, uh, you don't want the builder to get hurt. <laughs> it works. I fit. Let me see. Oh, look at that. It's perfect. It is a cute little thing. Right? Cute little benchy. It's coming along. I can't wait to have the cushions in it. I know. That's going to be awesome. I need a back to my bench, please. Okay. Get off me. Bugs. You're not supposed to eat it. I didn't mean to. What up, Josh? Good, buddy. What are you doing? Oh, um, no, I didn't. I've been doing the working on the bus all day. Well, I think by the end of the year. Man, I am so glad that you guys can't smell me right now. But look at that sky behind me. Wow. Those clouds are amazing. <laughs> what? Arizona sky is like no other. You know what they say, another day, another dinette seat. That's right. It's not really a jigsaw until you've actually cut a jig out with it. I thought you were going to say until you've actually danced a jig with it. <laughs> yes. There it is. It's a jigsaw. <laughs> People are going to steal my mad dancing skills. You're going to see it all over the internet now. It's going to go viral. <laughs> You're making people sick. I'm sweating like a man. It's a hundred degrees outside. It's so hot. Even my nose is sweating. Some people think it's boogers, but it's not. Yes, you may come in with my throne. Do you need a hand? Yeah, I do need a hand. Look at that. That would be the longest bed ever. Clearly we're going to be trimming that. Just a scotch. Piece a bit. But that's the general idea. 
You've got wood. <laughs> I got huge wood. <laughs> this thing over a little bit. Dinette set day three. And we should be able to lower this down now onto our I know. This is really good. With some pillows. With some pillows on it and with the cushions on here, right? these things would never cut into you. Plus your legs are long enough, it wouldn't matter. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, it's gonna be good. You could easily seat four people on this. Yeah, three comfortably three four. Three comfortably four when it's And then we have three to four over there too. Right. Wow, we can entertain for like six, eight people if we wanted to. Yeah, large groups. Yeah. When we pitch the tent on the deck, we can have all kinds of people over. Jesus, for what? I like there's a place to sit down on the bus now. I know, huh? We should have started with this. We built this shit backwards. I love this, like the way you did the little edges here to hold the seat cushions in place. I'm really happy with how that... Oh, it's really important. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready to just mount these things. I know, let's do it! Let's do it! This is the Craig jig I started with manually doing all my drilling in a little clamp similar to this that uh, you clamp it to your wood and then drill each hole individually. It really made a difference on how uh, how easy it was to build different things. Oh, Dave's here. Brown Santa? Yay! What are we getting for Christmas today? I don't know. Hi, Brown Santa. That's cool. Well, thanks for bringing my super cool pen vice. Yeah, of course. This is interesting. I'm paying attention to what's happening here. That's it. Handled that like a champ. Did. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're doing this. We're attaching our dinette seats. Pocket holes rule. We should be a commercial for Craig. We have these come in packages of 250. We this pile represents the last of a, the second 250 and we're about to open our third to give you an idea how many we've used. It is the throne of screws. Yes, it's the throne of Craig. All right, let's try to drop one of these big bad boys and see if we don't hit that. There it is. two right there and it's providing a great deal of strength that's 
that's one. That's in. That seat is done. Part of the bus. You want to hand me a battery off something over there? <laughs> yep. Shocking. I'm going to put down like three of them and then I'm going to put down like huge screws with the other one. Big bad boys in. And we'll just do a couple more. Hey. So if the table is resting up on this edge, are you still doing the same exact metal brackets? Or is yes. it going to be, oh, okay, they're just going to be against They're going to be back this. here, down right here. Oh, gotcha. So you'll put that up against there and straight down uh -huh. into and those clips. And then they fit into. <clears throat> and into those little slots they should go into. Let's make our brackets. We got a bunch of metal to cut. We got to make four, probably four brackets. Strange brew is what we're used to. Get her all life, that's me and you. So this will bolt to a wall, like that, and these will bolt to the bottom of the table, and they will go like this, and provide really strong support for the table, but make it removable. Cool, huh? Good, huh? That's great because this doesn't actually touch the wall, so our mm -hmm. switch plate cover will still yeah, fit by, behind there. By design. This is turning out really good. Check mm -hmm. this out. You take this off, set it underneath here, put the bed down, or boom. So now we just have to decide like what's level. I don't know if that's level or not. Like that. This is like my piece to resistance. It's so elegantly simple and it works so good and it works so not not because I designed it well because I designed it on the fly. <laughs> like I had an idea in my head, but like normally when we do something like this, we have to do it like nine times. We only had to do it once. <laughs> I hope you're not speaking too soon. I know. <laughs> Oops, drilled a hole through the table. My bad. <laughs> and like this. And I'll slide like that. And this comes over here. How difficult this part would be. Yeah, you're not good. lined up. You're not lined up. Look where you're at. Yeah, they're way off. What? You put them in the wrong place? Yeah. <laughs> we didn't, uh, wow, we didn't. Measure. Didn't even try? Yeah, it was the horrible.
So yeah, so we need it tomorrow or next time we're working on it, take it all apart so it can all be painted and be put back together. Mm -hmm. Which would be Thursday, right? Yeah. Huh. Oh my God, this is great. Yeah. Remember that moment when Mike said, yeah, watch, I'll probably drill a hole in the table or something? Oops, drill a hole through the table, my bad. That just happened. So we have a little bit of patching to do on this end while he was pre-drilling the hole for, I think it's a lag screw. Um, the drill bit <laughs> accidentally punched all the way through. And this lag screw, the tip actually came out of the wood, which it didn't on the other side, so it was really weird. Just a couple little things we have to patch up and fix. First coat is a really, really wet coat. Looks better, huh? Yeah, it looks nice. little knobs I'm gonna make all the difference it's just gonna be so solidly mounted there it's all the better than I thought it would. It's just way better. And I love that it can be a couch. That's like my favorite part. Like I love being able to we can sit here and eat and stuff of course I and mean, that's cool. But the fact that we like went the extra mile to turn this into uh, where it's super modular for having a sleepover you know somebody coming to visit or um, a crap load of company. Yeah when we have a bunch of people we just drop this into a couch takes a minute turns it into a full almost a full-size couch Oh yeah, we have to make the little pocket thing in the back behind my seat. Mm -hmm. We're not leaning on this or touching it because it's actually still wet and we're only on the second coat. But it's our fourth day of filming and it's Thursday so we need to get this video out now. That's right. Oh yeah, and something really cool just happened the other night which is totally 100% thanks to all of you, our awesome subscribers. You guys are awesome. Awesome. And you know it. Yay! We did it! High five, baby! Wow! 5,000. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Wow, we've worked so hard for this. I know. That's so awesome. I know. Who's in that? Mm.